buddy, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Oh, jeez. I fell asleep like around 8 o'clock in the evening, slept till 2 o'clock, and now it's like 3 o'clock. So I thought I would do some painting after I just did a few things. But my schedule's all messed up. Anyway, I want to show this beautiful painting I got in the mail today from Josie Cap. Can you guys believe this? Look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. It has got everything in it. From cells to lacing to veins, beautiful veins in there of color. They're all my earth tone colors. And I've actually had this little spot in my front room that I've been trying to get a painting to put up there. And I put like three or four of them up there already. And none of them seem to match. And this one matched perfect. So I wanted to put this on my wall with all my paintings from everybody. But I'm actually going to put this in my front room. But look at this. That's got gold. I think she's got some bronze maybe in there. Some pretty, I don't know, sienna. All I know is check it out. Josie, this is beautiful. So nice. I swear those are all natural too. So as I can tell when I look at them. That's awesome you're getting it like that. That is so pretty. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Josie. It's called Snow on the Other Side. And like she sent me a clip too. I feel so bad because I'm just not together ever. I send out paintings to everybody without clips. I sat there and thought today and I'm like, Lord, I need to get it together. People are thinking, geez. And she puts a backing on here too. How nice. She said, for all you do, thank you, Josie. So I'm sorry if I didn't send you guys stingers. I really do think I need to start doing that. <laughs> anyway, this is so pretty. I think it's about an 11 by 14. Yeah, somewhere around there. But then check out, she sent me some skins. And this is some pretty skins. So I am really looking forward to sitting down after this painting today. Cutting some of these out for my snaps and for my frames. And glue them on the back of my cabochons. Look at that. How pretty. She says, Sherry... Something fell on this before it was dry. Thought you might be able to use it somehow. <laughs> oh, man, I know that feeling. That looks like a bug crawling. I've had that happen so many times. I've walked in, and there would be a trail going all the way through my painting. Oh, how terrible that that ruined that. It was so pretty, too. Oh, she's got pretty colors in there. So thank you so much, Josie. I really appreciate your thoughtfulness. That's very kind of you. I love getting paintings from everyone else. It's so cool. So that I was going to go ahead and do this awareness just to let you guys know. I swear I'm subscribed to many channels. I mean like, you know, Good Morning America. NBC, CNN, my thrifting channels. And everywhere I go, I'm seeing comments from this trap town. I really am. I, all my weird our oddball channels, too. They're not even painting channels. They're hitting up. So beware of this trap town, NCS. They're also changing their names. They're going by different names. Base town is another one they're using. And they'll usually say, hey, this is nice, nice video, or you want to be friends or something. And what they want you to do is to go in there and subscribe to their channel. Then 
apparently they're getting all kinds of information from you. Oh, they're stealing your content off your videos too. Not exactly sure what they're doing, but beware of them, guys. Block them from your channel. And then, oh, report it first, I suppose, and then block it. Because I blocked mine first, and I didn't get a chance to report it. But you're supposed to report them. So YouTube can get a hang of them. But they're just everywhere. It says Trap Town, Trap Town, Base Town, any of those kinds. Block them. I mean, somebody's like, oh, I want to be friends and all that stuff. Oh. Don't respond back. Don't even click into their page. Anyway, I'm going to do a Mardi Gras chain pull. Well, well I guess you call it a bead pull. <laughs> and I got these beads over at the dollar store. So I've got the bigger ones. And then I even have, they're a little thinner, just a little bit smaller, see? So I think I'm going to try the small ones today. That's a longer, but anyway, I saw Mixed Media Girl do this, and I was like blown away. I'm like, oh, how cool. And I love the technique of laying the paint on top of the beads. So that's all I'm going to do. Uh, we'll get started. Okay, so I suppose this is just like any other chain pull. You don't want it real thick on your base coat. I don't know. First time I've tried this, so <laughs> I saw her do it, and I was like, that was super cool. Uh, hopefully I am focused. Yeah, I am. Okay, so this is a 10 by 10. I just covered it with white Artist Loft Flow paint, but I let it drip off real good. So most of the paint is up here in the corner. I dripped off to this corner. And we'll just get started. I'm gonna fast forward through this. Okay, so that was super cool. I mean, it's just, 
really awesome. This one here was a little straight right here, so all I did was just pause the camera, took a little stick, pulled it in right there. You can see that that's what I did. But I did notice that some of these were a little stiff and they didn't quite lay down flat and I think that's what happened right here. Yeah, it was just a little stiff in some areas and it wouldn't lay down flat. But it's all good, it still turned out really cool. And it wasn't real puddle. I was worried about those tips, you know, being too thick. But I suppose if you get a lot of paint off your canvas, you'll be good. So that is so cool how that middle one is twisted like that. That's pretty. I love this technique. Thanks, Mixed Media Girl. <laughs> so I'm going to rinse these off real quick. Soak them. You got to give this a try. It is a blast. Okie dokie. Thanks for watching and have a good one, guys. Catch you later. Bye-bye now.